Condoms. You gotta use a ticket if you wanna ride the ride. Pills. Or the withdrawal method. Let's get it on. Which is the most effective form of contraception? According to the 356 women surveyed by the Singapore Planned Parenthood Association, 95% said condom, 71% chose the combined oral pills, 38% chose the morning after pills, and 33% chose the withdrawal method. While condoms and pills are obviously more reliable, doctors say the withdrawal method is not. When a man has a cause of a woman, right? Um, before the fight, you know, the full ejaculation occurs, you can get pre-ejaculation, and that itself can have semen, right? And because these, these, I mean, if they're young in particular, um, then, of course, fertility is very good, especially in women. In fertility, we know the younger the, the, the women, the more fertile they are. So just that act alone, I mean, one single act at her fertile period and fertile timing, um, you know, if, if he does not ejaculate fully but he has some pre-ejaculate, that itself can actually lead to, um, you know, pregnancy or unwanted pregnancy. 50% of women below the age of 16 and 48% of women aged 16 to 20 cited the withdrawal method as their preferred choice. In comparison, only 22% of women aged 36 and above believe that the withdrawal method is effective. But even though most female respondents agree that condoms and pills are the most reliable forms of birth control, only 63% use condoms and 12% use pills, 25% rely on the withdrawal method. And the reason for not using contraceptives? Inconvenience. Contraceptive pills in Singapore are available by prescription only, instead of over-the-counter like in some other countries. Women also have to take their pills daily. Misconceptions about the contraceptive pills such as weight gain, bloatedness or infertility are also prevalent. I see that a lot with my patients. They come in and say, you know, I've been taking the pill for X number of years or if I, is there any long-term side effects if I take the pill long-term and it will cause me fertility issues. It doesn't. And, and I mean, I, like this year, I have a few patients who, who have that been on the pill. They've come off the, the pill because they're now married and ready to have children. And, um, you know, they don't have any medical problems and within six months they are pregnant. Majority of them within six months are pregnant. Does showering after sex prevent pregnancy? We separate the facts from the myth in the next clip.